Guys, if you're after any Pokemon singles, make sure to check out JGC Collectibles. They have loads in stock, including some sealed product there. Also, if you are interested, make sure to use discount code SLOWPOKE5 for 5% off. Right, welcome to the Slowpoke world, guys. Now, if you are an ADP Zation player like myself, um, I found recently that ADP Zation is getting gunned for by everyone, okay? More people playing Wild and Mewtwo um, with Victini, more people playing Firebox and Goons to a lesser extent as well. So, we're public enemy number one out here, boys, our ADP Zation players. Now, I really like Zation as a card, okay? I don't want to give it up. So, I'm thinking, what can we do to help combat this? And then Stefan drops an article on Poke Beach. Um, and then in, in that article, it goes through how ADP can change, some other, some other cards you can play. There was like um, a list about uh, ADP Zation 9 sales, which seems really cool. But one that caught my eye was Speed Zation, okay? So, the difference between Speed Zation and ADP Zation. We play four Zations. I know a lot of um, ADP lists can play four. This one de definitely has to play four, okay? Um, you don't play ADP at all. So what we do, we take out all the ADP cards, we replace them with stuff like extra shrine counts, we've got China 3, um, and frying pans, that's gonna help show up the fire weakness of our um, firebox matchup, and Victini and Weldon Mewtwo can't just slap us. So that's, we're trying to combat those two matchups, basically. Um, and we use shrine ticks to sort of offset the lack of auto creation. So we slam Brave Blade 230, put the extra 10 on, um, and what does that go into? That goes to what? Uh, that goes to 40. Then basically, over time, the Mewtwo um, or uh, Charizard will die. That way, obviously, Charizard cannot heal. And if they miraculous duo into a Zacian, that's not a KO anyway. So, you know, that's probably one of the best GX attacks we can have them using. So, if they use a miraculous duo, that's fine. We just smack them again anyway. But we have another wrinkle. So, let's say we smack something, we smack a Mewtwo or Charizard, they go back to the bench. Um, we haven't got access to Shrine, or it's going to take a few turns to tick over. We can be a bit more aggressive in getting that KO with the, this promo, Dust Mane Across. Now, there is two artworks in this card, the same text though. Basically, the attack we're using here is Dust Shot, one metal. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's EFs or GX. So, what that basically reads is smack something on the bench or set something up for a Brave Blade. So, it actually works out super nice. So, what you have to imagine is we're going to be taking our tag team knockouts in two phases first with the brave blade then with the dust shot and or shrine so that's how we're making up our lack of um ultra creation and then we've also got the mimic cute as well so we're playing three shrines mimic is really good turn off mewtwo's uh two to dene that's standard i think and then one aranguru so that's pretty much it we play the same sort of gust uh, one great catcher for customs that seems fine for patcher for quick ball one stamp could that could be two four switches Three shrines. Got the Erica's in there. Um, just because I wanted extra support and I didn't really fancy a Cynthia. And I thought, Erica, you can pop it now. A lot of decks are filling their benches. You got your Firebox, Mewtwo, spring to mind. Picaron also as well. So I think Erica's isn't a bad shout if you're really trying to dig for your shrines and stuff. Four Obsessor's Research, obviously. Um, two Escape Board for your Jirachis. We still play a full four there. Three pans, and obviously as well, one nice thing with Speed Zation, we can play, not 16, not 16, is it? 13 energy, we can play 13 energy, you can play 12 as well, I think Steph Max just had like 12, maybe even 11, I always wanted to bomb that up, I just wanted to say, right, turn two, I'm going to be announcing Brave Blade, and I'm going to have a Shrine in play, with a pan attached, can you deal with that? If yes, I'm going to have a next Zation at the back, power it up with um, Metal Source to slap you again. Uh, and I just wanted to make the Intrepid Sword super live. So if you can threaten a turn two Brave Blade, against a lot of death. That's put a lot of pressure on. It's put a lot of pressure on, really. So, yeah, we're gunning more for the Firebox uh, matchup. We're gunning more for Mewtwo. Goons, I mean, we can't really... We, we, okay, we have got our worst Goons, not going to lie. Um, a lot of the time, Visation, ADP. The reason you can win that matchup is just because you take two fires at a time. And you can just do, like, you know, weird catch-up, Fiona your shenanigans. Uh, but we haven't got access to that, so I think you, your, your Goons matchup become pretty bad unless they just do Goon things and don't set up. But your Firebox and Mewtwo are a lot better because of the Metal Frying Pan. Because Victini's really good at slaying Zation, guys. If people want to keep gunning for Zations, then um, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> so, yeah, enough of me talking. Let's get in some games. Alright, then, so we pick this game up. I think this might be turn one. 
turn one. I know I was late starting to record this one. That's my bad. That's my bad, guys. But, um, yes, I think he's quick ball out the Dene. Got his Asian with free energy. That's, 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 that's insane. So, uh, looks like we take a switch to prepare us for next turn. Oh, I had a switch in hand already. So that might have been a misplay. Uh, yeah, so we've still got a, we've got a Cynthia, so didn't get energy off the top, and also we are playing a high range account, so we'd like to see that. Um, we did get the Dust Maiden of Cosma though, and that's going to be really good in this matchup because all we're going to do is slap the um, what's he called, Raleg, Raleg, Executor Gazer, slap him, and then if he tries to hide on the bench, we can uh, use Dust Shot to clean him up, obviously, and Shrine will also help tick. That as well, and obviously though it will be healing for 30 with his attack 150 heal, um, and tropical hour, which um, is a good jet attack against this. To be fair, it will be quite scary. Doesn't knock out his Asian though, which is nice without fire damage, of course. So my guy's playing the uh, what's it called, Willaboom. He's got out a uh, Grookey. He had to poke here for his uh, Cynthia Caitlin, which is not. What you want to see for them, or if you're that player, obviously that means you might not be able to reuse his Malo Lana, which is nice for us because Malo is going to be quite annoying. Ops to play the Guzma Halla turn one though, just to search out a live forest, which makes sense because we are going to need some chip damage to one shot the uh, Raul Egg. Uh, so it's not a bad play. I mean, turn one, I probably would have liked to draw three cards if I was him, but you know, he gets out his Rillaboom. So I guess, you know, I mean, I haven't, I haven't really played this deck, but I, I, I think I prioritise hand size over the turn to Rillaboom. But, you know, that's just me. So if we can get Shrine at some point here, that'd be nice. It's like I probably bench in a Cosma. That seems okay. Just thinking about sequencing now here. I think we still a wish first. I think we do, yep. Yeah. Got the escape one. Now we don't play the switches, which is nice. We can save them for later. Which is always nice. I think, do we even bench? Do I bench another one to get another Stellar Wish off? Looks like I do. Okay. Oh, we're really trying to hit that Shrine here because Shrine would be super nice if we get it. Because that Life Forest is a one off. Once that's gone, that's gone. Oh, and we do. So there we go. A little bit of sequencing. Uh, I've actually heard my sequence in right, guys. And that's, if anyone knows me, that's quite rare. But so that's gone forever. That Life Forest, that's nice. I don't know what other stadium this might play, probably Power Plant or something. Um, probably not power plant because they play Volpoom, didn't they? So we've got Azation chilling on the back. And you've got no way a one shot in the uh, Azation that's about to slap him for uh, 230. 240 after Shrine. Um, so this is nice. Obviously, because we're not playing ADP, we don't have to take the knockout with the Shrine. We can let the Shrine of Punishment do the work for us. So yeah, if he tries to hide on the bench, we can potentially get the KO with Dust Mane. Dust Shot. Obviously, we can't attack this turn, and we haven't got a switch in hand at this moment in time. So, we might have to do some sort of digging to actually get an attack off next turn. To shot, you know, might be the uh, might be the way. But we do play a full four switch, so I think we've only used one. So, it's not going to be too hard for us to um, find another one, hopefully. And we've got a Cynthia there, we've got the Erica's potentially as well, um, which is live. We, if we top deck, we can't play our top deck, we can play the Erica. We will be at four cards and oh here's a hammer okay this could change things okay he got heads um probably oh I'll, okay i can i can see it going off there as well i oh, went active just to what happened there? did he get another hammer oh he must have done oh wow so he got two wow that was quick weren't it oh he got a catcher as well wow so okay so all manner of things going on here so now he's find energy plus switch or switch plus saucer um and he does it to the bench. Okay. So now let's do some maths. So what are we thinking here? So custom catcher into the back would be nice because then we can let Shrine finish this one off. That would be quite naughty because um, Malo Lana heals off the active, I believe. Right? So we're going for the going for the Cynthia though. Okay, so we've got the switch and we've got the energy. So that's. <laughs> That's uh, quite good, that. <laughs> so we get a Stellar Wish off as well. So I'm just thinking what the idea. I think, yeah, I think you have to go active here, Shay. I don't know why you're taking so long to think about this. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to switch first. Or, oh, we're thinking, do we go for the Dust Shot? Okay, I'll see. Oh, Stellar Wish. 
We've got the great catcher. Okay, so we can do the gust play. Now, that's a bit risky. We're not taking prizes immediately, but we just need Shrine to stick for one more turn. I only got a two card hand. So I don't think it's too. I mean, it's a bit risky, but. Um... A two card, I, don't know, I think it's not a bad little play. Get rid of Mimic and Stamp, probably, if I had to guess. Okay, probably got rid of a. Uh, probably would have kept on Guri there, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got putting some big damage on the board here. So that's what, two, another 240. And then that bench one's going to be on a uh, 10. 10 health left. So. Hopefully a pass <laughs> would, be, uh, would be ideal. Um, so let's have a look. We've always got we've always got dust shot live now. So if shenanigans does happen, dust shot does KO both of them. So let's see what my guy does. Our hand isn't looking too great though. Our hand is not looking too great. And we know he plays hammers. He's used two though, which is nice. We am really gonna have to worry about any more of them. Hopefully, there's a good Mahala. So he's gonna search stadium. Uh, let's see what the stadium he does play. Got a farm right now. So it is power plant. Okay. So that's annoying. So the bench. Um, and a weak guard. And then voltage. Bit. So he actually gets off the big tropical hour here. Shuffles in all our energy and does 200. So that's a big yard. I mean, that's what I was just looking at there. <laughs> uh, not a bad turn. Not a bad turn at all. Look at that. 100. Wait, what? Why does it do 140? Oh, resistance plus Pam. Okay. All right, so we're in struggle mode here. Looks like we're just gonna have to, just gonna have to stamp and let him carry the active, which uh, isn't the best. The only good news is, is that, okay, we got we got an energy. Um, obviously, the Dene is not an out here because of power plant as well. So we have got a third energy though. To um, if he just KOs, we can just ray blade and then dust shot the bench one. That's the idea. So it looks like we're in a bad spot here, but realistically, we should be okay. Outside of like. Um, just a lot of hit, like a stupid amount of healing. We could even promote Dusk Shot here and carry the bench now. Um, oh, we do get a Stellarish now, though, to be fair. So hopefully, get a Sporter. Get energy. So let's see where do I put that. I'd, yeah, evil. I mean, Dusk Shot does attack for uh, does attack for one. So we can, it's probably easier to power that up at any given time. Can't grab the Deno, obviously. But I think, yeah. Zation's not a bad shout because we think we've got some uh, patches left or one patch, one metal patch um, for seven energy. Okay. I probably would have left that bench spot open. Oh, we've got Stellarish. Oh, we've got Shrine. Very nice. So that's really putting back on the clock here. So th that means this is a. Uh, here we take K1 active, K1 bench. This is a six prize turn. Okay. Speed Zacia take you know what was better than taking four prizes off a tag team? How about take six? Six <laughs> in one turn. So yeah, that, that's actually quite good. You can sort of see what we're trying to set up there. We sort of just slam the active. If we one shot, we one shot. If we don't, we just let shrine ticks catch up and then use dust shot if we need to. So yeah, there's a six prize turn. So that's just incredible, really. Um quite fun. Six prizes at once. You know what I mean? All right, let's roll in then. Speed Zation. Um, it's called Tails. Tails never fails. And, uh, oh, we win. We go. We, we think we always go first with this deck. So we play a higher energy count, and we play uh, something or other. What else do we play? Four Zations. Excuse me. Four Zations. Um, so we just want to trap sword. We play a higher energy count as well. I think I'm playing thirteen. So um, yeah, just just want to see them. So at the moment in time, we have not got a Zacian, which is annoying. It seems to happen a lot. You can see my mouse going crazy. Um, so you see a Volpix. That's a bit of a yikes. Uh, Stellarish, quick ball. Ooh. Okay, we got him. All we want to see is just Zacian, turn one. That's all we want to see. I mean, we could be risky and go for Dene. Um, but look, reading this back now, I probably wouldn't. I'd just take the energy and the Intrepid Sword. We don't want to get rid of two Simpias, a custom catch, and a research, and two shrines. Because um, in face value, this looks like this could be firebox. Um, and we might need all that stuff, to be honest. So. Um, oh, we prize two Zations, that's interesting. I can see that I've got the Cypher in here. This is when um, I thought I should probably have a Goons out. Because um, this version does have a lot worse Goons, this is true. Um, the Goon matchup ain't the greatest. 
Um, so we didn't get energy. That's annoying. What do we get? You're actually going to you patch. So that's annoying. What happens to Cynthia next turn then? Um, yeah, we do have a lot worse goons. Because obviously your ADP matchup with goons is you take two fires at a time, which is really nice. Um, we put down the heat factory turn one. So we just bounce that straight away. Like, <laughs> get one turn easier with that. And he puts down the Charmander. So we're not playing against um, Firebox. We are playing against... Um, Baby Charizard, the uh, War and Resolve one, 50 for each fire energy attached, you can discard them all, and it's got the ability to put two damage counters on it, and you put two energy on it from deck. So on paper, this is a horrible matchup, <laughs> this is awful, because uh, like I said, if you're playing ADP, this, you know, it's winnable, because um, we take two poisons at a time, uh, but we're taking one prize at a time, and we give up two, and he's got weakness. The only good news is we do play pans, uh, three or four. So yeah, I mean, K on active here would be nice. What do we need? Patch. Uh, quick ball. We could go to Danny hunting. Could go to Danny hunting for it. I put energy in the bin though. So um, let's see what we do. So we got Danny there. Put him down. So we're just looking for what? Uh, patch and switching cards. Is that a wish? Got the pan, probably should have done a wish after the Dedene for sequencing reasons, so we messed up a little bit there. So now we have to hit patch and switch card off this. See what we get. And saucer, sorry. Uh, we've got our own guru, so we can go digging. We can go digging. We've got one more dig. There's the cipher. We've got really, the, the scissor, really eager to get started here, getting the game up. No, so I don't need you now. Uh, we've got a second pan, so that's particularly bad. So, uh, I know in the first game I said, look at Shay doing a good sequencing. That is where I did not do good sequencing, and it came back to bite me there. So, a um, bit annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Trepid Sword, um, obviously, get a custom case. Can we get a switch off the uh, Intrepid Sword? So, um, with the pan, that's good. That means he doesn't, he doesn't um, chaos for two energy. He has to put on four, because it's 50 plus 20. Uh, 50 for each energy plus 20, 20 base. So he needs to have four, which means you can't get a code this turn. Now, I don't know, obviously, I'm, gonna say, I'm not sure what Gusty plays, but obviously, there's a whole picture in the active, so it's not too hard to work out what he plays. So, yeah, let's have a little gander. War and Resolve, put 20 on himself, and 20 is super irrelevant in this matchup. Ooh, he's gonna one bang him anyway. Let's see what he does there. You have some sort of well, he, he probably can't gust anyway because if he did, like I say, he doesn't one shot the issue. Excuse me, as it stands here, though, if we can grab a second custom catcher, we can carry that Charizard. And if he doesn't put a Charmander down, we could be in a good spot there. So that's our only hope to sort of tempo him out of the game a little bit with our speedization. So yeah, that's that's what we're going for now. Just trying to tempo him out. He's taking a long time to think, so I'm guessing he hasn't got a lot of stuff to do here. I don't know if he's thinking about whether to take a care with Charizard and the active and retreat the Vulpix. I don't think you ever do that. Um, I think you probably watch Kerry Jirachi here. Yeah, I think that's that's fine. I mean, if he hasn't got you know, stuff to do, which he hasn't. So no Charmander. So that's all our game plan. We can find Custom Catcher. So we've got Research, we've got Source, and we've got Stellar Wish. So I think at this point, moment in time okay we just got it off there so that's nuts uh, so we've got the switch we've got the saucer provided what engine disc off i think we have could be wrong yeah yeah so that's live so we're just going to source a switch and that puts me in a bad spot that puts me in an awful spot really i'm just thinking about sequencing this i'm terrified about my sequencing fellas that i messed it up um so yeah we still need to switch though Thinking about why. Oh, I'm thinking about what to do for the, what to keep for the research. That's what I'm thinking. So obviously we're gonna put the research now. What do we keep? I'm thinking pan because we need them. And we switch and then we research. So hopefully if we can get a Zation, we can put the pan on and then there's a concede. So yeah, um, the reason I want to put that game in um, is just because um, that just shows that sometimes. With the pans, you can swing the fire matchups, and that if you can just and you can still just out tempo people. Now, if we was playing an ADP uh, version of Liz, there, our Zacian would have been boxed. Um, what am I thinking? Our Zacian would have been boxed because we haven't got no pans. 
and then and we would have been a lot slower. We would have given turn to get more Charizards down to a route. We would have had to set up an Ultimate Ray. Uh, I guess in that matchup, um, Ultimate Ray is a good attack. But then, you know, peaks and troughs. Like if he can potentially ever get like a big heat run out, KO the KO the um, ADP. If that ADP dies, it's game over. Because then we haven't got Panthanization to getting destroyed, provided my man gets stuff down. But um, with the speed version, we've got the four pans. So we can fall back on them. And then... We're going to give up two prizes at a time. I haven't got to worry about the uh, ADP nonsense. And because we're so fast, we can normally threaten a turn to Great Blade. Um, so, yeah, that's why I left that game. Right then, so in conclusion, um, do I rate Speedization? Um, now, I'm not sure if I'm just super jaded from the League Cup I went to recently. Where I did all four. <laughs> and I just played like Mewtwo's and Fireboxes all day. But um, I, actually think, I actually think it's legit, to be fair. Um, I think the overwhelming strength of ADP might um, dampen your enthusiasm to this, maybe. You're thinking, oh, why do I have to, you know, use Shrine Ticks and Dust Shots to take my prizes when I can just ADP? Which is fair enough. But um, I really noticed at that League Cup how vulnerable you are if that ADP gets cleaned up quick time. And I think this is a, this is another way to play the card. Zation V is an incredible card. Um, really versatile and its approach and I think this is a super viable way to play the, to play the deck really um, just just let Shrine do the work just shot fall back on and Intrepid Sword plus turn 2 Rayblade is you know it's like it's like what Mike Tyson said everyone's got a game plan until they're getting punched in the mouth and you know everyone might say oh this isn't as good as ADP oh you're only taking two coins at a time but uh, but yeah how about you say that when I'm turn two blasting you for 230 with a shrine tick in play <laughs> and the and the pans as well are really good also uh, I mean you can obviously just put a pan into ADP but I think having them in the high counts you're not having to good holler with them it's just really strong as well but uh, thank you so much for watching guys leave it in the comments if you think uh, speedization is legit um, I'm tempted to leave it up. I might leave it up for a challenge this weekend. Who knows? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, thanks for watching that video. Much appreciated. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I try and put as much stuff here as I can full deck profiles, plus games, topic conversational pieces regarding anything in the TCG. Um, check out my Twitter, check out my Facebook, that's where you get most of the updates, sort of see what's going on behind the scenes, all that good stuff. Also check out the SoundCloud for the full um, bi-weekly podcast if you're interested, if you like the conversational pieces, go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.